Adults with modest incomes are eligible for monthly checks ranging from $6,000 to $14,000. In this very video, I've provided you with all of the information that you require, including all of the specifics. All right, let's dive right into it. For the purpose of this video, I will be focusing on a few different programs that are now available to adults. These programs offer monthly checks ranging from $6,000 to $14,000 and are expressly designed to, designed to give them financial assistance. And that is precisely what I want to concentrate on here in the video, in addition to providing answers to some questions and addressing some concerns that I have seen from some of you in the comment section below regarding this particular subject. Let's get down to business and go over the specifics one by one. And once more, I would like to bring to your attention something else that is occurring in the world at the moment, specifically what they are discussing bringing back for millions upon millions of homes. In addition, that would also lead into precisely what it is that we are concentrating on in this video today. One more time, adult checks. Really quickly before we do, I want to express my gratitude for your presence here. If you have not already done so, please make sure to do yourself a tremendous, tremendous favor. Hitting the wire, doing all the research and breaking it all down into these short videos are all things that we have done in order to ensure that you are able to keep up with what is truly happening at this time of rapid change. And of course, I want to bring to your attention everything that you might be able to seize or make use of, as well as anything that might be appearing that might have an effect on your finances, your benefits, your way of life, your bank account, or anything else of the sort. Due to the fact that it is a very, very busy time right now, I will, of course, bring it to your attention right away and continue to work on your behalf literally every single day. You, the beneficiaries of low income and fixed income, are the focus of our attention in 2024, as we are aware. When you watch all of the videos, you have probably already heard me say it a thousand times. In any case, I will always be here for you. Once more, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the link below. To ensure that you do not miss any videos in the future, in the year 2024, everything revolves around you. I would want to reiterate that you are free to share this video with your friends and let me know about it on social media. In addition to the button that allows you to subscribe, there is also a large share button located directly below the video clip. That's okay. And many thanks as well. I want to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you who are a part of our community. In the interest of addressing the issue at hand, let us discuss the provision of monthly checks ranging from $6,000 to $14,000 for individuals with modest incomes with a particular emphasis on adults. However, this is a thought that is actually quite intriguing. Permit me to provide a brief explanation of a few of the queries and concerns that I have seen in the comments section farther down on this page. In addition, I am completely on your side as I ought to be. Uh, I respond by saying, yes, you have a legitimate concern here. This is directed toward those of you who are contacting out to inquire about this matter. What exactly is going on and what about adult checks? I couldn't agree with you more. Permit me to go into further depth regarding this matter. That would be the payments for the child tax credit, right? Indeed, it is so. Let me explain this in a very brief manner, all right? Are you able to recall a few years ago? In point of fact, to be honest, it occurred in the second half of the year 2021. The phrase was included in a piece of legislation known as the American Rescue Plan, which was enacted at the beginning of 2021. Then, beginning in July, like in the beginning of July 2021, they began implementing ongoing monthly checks for 38 million households out there, where they were sending out an average of $422 each month for around 38 million households. This was done in order to ensure that the checks provided to these households were consistent. As a consequence of the payments made in advance for the child tax credit, this represents a significant rise. What do you recall about that? Indeed, as a consequence of that, a great number of individuals were reaching out to inquire what exactly is going on. Because we are adults, individuals with low incomes, seniors with low incomes, people living on a fixed income, persons with disabilities, and the list continues on and on. Why do we not receive anything? Let's talk about us. The fact that they forgot about us once more is a tremendous surprise, isn't it? That's precisely right. To begin, let me to clarify what is going on here, because I have seen that several of the questions that have been asked below are related to this topic. In the present moment, can you predict what it is that they are attempting to accomplish? Bring back payments for the child tax credit that are made in advance, such as monthly checks. Are they attempting to bring it back for a short time, such as for a length of time that is not more than six months, comparable to what they did in the year 2021? On the contrary, they are working toward a permanent return of it. Right now, they are attempting to carry out this activity. At this very moment, they are attempting to accomplish this, which means that they are attempting to reinstate these child tax credit payments and continue to distribute them on a monthly basis for the rest of their lives. It is not simply for a period of six months. It is not for a year forever. Would you be able to picture yourself receiving checks in the amount of $422 each and every month for the rest of your life? It's not a terrible circumstance, is it? Indeed, it is so, therefore, as a consequence of that. 
Is there a possibility of an adult check of sort? It is a very interesting question. Indeed, I believe that we could bring this to the attention of legislators and ask them the exact same question and then proceed. Now, legislators, what exactly are you doing in this room? Is that correct? Due to the fact that the income threshold for receiving these child tax credit payments is rather high, you are sending checks to all of these families that have dependents, and they are earning a pretty great salary. An individual can receive $75,000 while a married couple can receive $150,000 as well as the fact that there is a phase out on it as well. Indeed, they intend to raise the income limit for individuals to a maximum of $100,000 and for married couples, they want to boost it to a maximum of $200,000 as well. Taking everything into consideration, there are a great deal of topics that they are discussing. To begin, let's consider the situation of a senior citizen who is living on a fixed income and receiving a little social security benefit of $10,000 per year or something similar. $800, $900 and $1,000 per month respectively. Where do all of these individuals stand? Those who are disabled are a significant concern. Again, living on social security or social security disability insurance and receiving less than $1,000 per month. Aren't these questions wonderful? Having said that, that is the reason why I want to concentrate on that in this video. To begin, I would want to briefly discuss a few of the programs that are currently being implemented all throughout the United States. Uh, these programs make it possible for individuals to receive up to $6,000 a year in the form of monthly checks. Additionally, there is another program that is currently being implemented. It has not yet been approved. At this point, it is not taking place at this time. However, what they intend to do is provide individuals with a monthly allocation of $1,200 or an annual allocation of $14,400 for a period of five years. Uh, that's not awful at all. We'll use that one. And that amounts to $6,000 every year. That would be awesome to have. Some people who are receiving a fixed income benefit have an income that is practically equivalent to a yearly income. That's quite a bit, isn't it? The amount of $500 a month would be a game changer for a lot of people and would significantly improve their standard of living. Therefore, that is what is occurring in the world at the moment. These occurrences are taking place at this same moment. To go on to the following topic, allow me to briefly discuss this other program. And this is the Act of Support, is that correct? Now, this is one that I have brought to your attention in previous videos. Nevertheless, I would like to talk about it in a very brief manner since with the adoption of everything that is happening right now, including automation, robotics, automation, artificial intelligence, and artificial intelligence. Let's find the millionaires in this neighborhood and send them a check, shall we? Hey, let's do that. That is not something that they do. Is it possible that they are saying anything along the lines of, hey, let's find the millionaires, let's tax them, and let's take that money and give it to the people who have low incomes as well in this manner, they behave. They do not look for people with big incomes or people who are millionaires and respond by saying, hey, let's give these people a check, you are correct. That is not how the system operates, aren't you? It is not true that they do that. Is it correct that each and every one of these programs is always and exclusively geared toward those with low incomes? Therefore, despite the fact, the fact that many of us are experiencing feelings of frustration right now, we're... now let me tell you something, people with lower incomes would be included in the program if it were a nationwide program that would send out recurring monthly checks or a nationwide program that would guarantee a basic income for all citizens. On the other hand, in order to be fair, the income thresholds on the federal level are normally a great deal greater than what they are on the state level, right? When it comes to programs like this one that are sponsored by the federal government, the income criteria are typically set at $75,000 per year for an individual and up to $150,000 per year for a married pair.